Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Lori and thanks for checking out my video slash review. Um, as you can tell, I just washed and blow dried my hair and what I'm going to be doing is, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be trying on um, Her Given Hair Kinky Blowout Clip-Ins uh, for the first time. I just got it today and this is the bag that I came in. I already opened one of them. Um, I got two packages like of the 16 inches uh, kinky blowout natural color. So yeah, this is what it looks like. I think it's pretty close to my hair color. My hair might be a little bit darker but I don't think it'll be like that noticeable. I think it'll, it should blend in, better blend in <laughs> nicely. Um, but I'm not just gonna put it in like this, even cause like my hair, even though I did blow it out, I don't think it'll match like too good. So I'm gonna flat iron it, not bone straight, cause I can never get it bone straight. But I am gonna flat iron it just um, so I can get it to be a little bit straighter and then yeah I'm gonna clip clip these bad boys in so I use Tresemme the Tresemme carrots and smooth heat protectant spray so I'm gonna do that and flat iron it again I'm just gonna do it like sec section by section and um, yeah, I'm probably gonna um, speed up this part so I can get to it. But before I do, I must say that I bought, cause I have been really indecisive about what I'm gonna be doing with my hair and I have recently, I recently purchased two two or three lace front wigs one i bought the hair and i made the other two i they're straight from yowigs.com they're like lace front wigs and i have them here they're nice and all but i wore them i'll probably do a review on them at some point um but my issue is my edges so I'm trying to like save my edges and grow out my hair at the same time and um, I found that by putting on the lace front wigs like on a regular basis is not good for your edges or the braids box braids for me anyway so instead of doing that I have decided this has to be <laughs> the best option for me until my hair grows out so because I won't be putting any tension on my edges whatsoever and I don't know the wigs they were so expensive I think all the hair was like fifteen hundred dollars like all together the wigs and the hair that I recently got but they're nice it's a good quality hair good quality wigs and stuff but they're only for like special occasions where I can only well, be wearing it like for maybe one or two days you know, if I have to go somewhere or whatever, and I want to switch up my look, but it's not something that I would recommend as your like everyday um, hairstyle, whatever. If you're trying to grow out your hair, or if you're trying to save your edges, this side is not too bad, but this side is definitely a problem for me. And um, yeah, I, I found like even like when I leave it alone and I do. Like I don't put any pressure on on them or anything like that. They grow, it grows back. Um, if I really st like moisturize it and take care of it, like you know. So I'm gonna give myself a chance. I'm also doing the micro needling and using Rogaine for women. So um, I'll be give an update on that as well. So if you're interested in all that. Um, I would recommend you subscribe to my channel because yeah I have like a lot of information that I would like to share with people with you <laughs> so
so yeah so i'm using this this is like a good flat iron i think i have it on 350 or 370 and it's hair art ceramic uh flat iron so i'll continue with that all right so i am back and i pretty much have finished um I'm back and I'm pretty much finished, you know, flat ironing my hair. Um, I'm going to add some olive oil to it. This is just regular um, extra vir or virgin olive oil that I got from the local like grocery store. I have 4C hair and um, it does get really dry so I know for sure biggest thing for me is moisture and oil. Big chop my hair back in. It's not. We're November now, end of November, kinda. And I did this like maybe February, March. I cut off all my hair, like most of it, and this is where I'm at. So, this is the hair going to be put, clipping it in. I have two bags so I got two. Um, there was like a special 30% off thing. So I got two bundles. Um, so there's 10 pieces so per bundle. So these are the first two. Got the clips here at the back. I think my hair might be like a tad bit darker, but I did um, put like a dark brown color in my hair because I have a bit of gray. And this is the other two that are about that size. Size. It's four. Six, and eight, nine, and ten. So there you go. So for today I'm just going to put them in like with the line in the middle. I'm going to start the back I guess put that in like this so it feels secure Oop, this one Make another line like over here. Hope you can see what I'm doing, but yeah, I'm just gonna make like another line right here. trying to see which length I should use because some are extra long some are not so long I think this would be good this one has four clips in it or three so 
I'm going to clip that in. I'm going to continue to put horizontal lines um, going up towards the top of my head and placing the clip-ins on top. So after I'm done doing this particular one, I'm going to continue to do that all the way until I get to the top and then I'm going to uh, show you how I do the very top. Um, yeah, so I'm probably going to end up getting my hair done properly like at the salon like washed them and flat ironed so that I don't have to really do this like look how many times I have to go over it when when they do it at the salon it's like stays like for long like three three four weeks just but this is a lot better now you can see it's blending in a lot better like once I do that once I flat iron it like this that's good there was still hope for me after all. <laughs> okay. So, now I'm going to put this over here. put like so close to the scalp like I mean to the edge <laughs> um, let me bring it back a bit here
that's it for that side. So this this is like how it's gonna look. I'm gonna sleep on it with a satin cap. So it'll just, you know, blend better. So, sorry, so now I'm just gonna do this side. One more clip. All right, so I'm gonna put this one right here. Actually, let me just iron this a bit because it's the front, so that's where I have to be extra careful. I mean, and you could always take out the clip-ins after a while and just sew it in if you want to. So that way it'll last longer, like in, in your hair. <clears throat> and just like get a sewing at wherever. <laughs> um, but yeah, so yeah, let's put that there. So I am pretty much done with this. I am getting tired now, yeah. Um, but <laughs> yeah, um, it's definitely full. But if you're in a rush, I can see why you just would get the clip in, you know? Definitely save you some time, I suppose. You could switch it up, like, the parting and, st and like, do different things with it, like, really quickly. So, yeah. So this is what it is. Um, let me come in a bit so you can see. Like I said, I'm gonna sleep in, uh, sleep with a satin cap. Um, but I think it's pretty good, you know. This is the side. This is how it's gonna have to be for a while, cause I ain't gonna lose my edges. I ain't losing my edges. Um, but yeah, so this is my my you know review or trying on my new hair given hair clip-ins i hope that you enjoyed watching my video and that you subscribe to my channel i do like it i think it looks very natural um you know their hair goals and yeah so i will see you in the next one <laughs>